Hello guys, here's Gmac with a Battlefield 3 commentary. Haven't been doing these for multiple reasons. One of them is that it's pretty hard to get a game that's interesting to watch. And if it is one like that, then you need to edit because it's usually the one where you meet some opposition and those games can get pretty long. <clears throat> so you need to edit it down. And even if you edit it down, you kind of... Oops, that was not a very good revive. Uh, so even if you edit it down, you still need to figure out what to talk about for 15 minutes, which uh, was essentially the reason why I started doing the commentary, so that I uh, can uh, have some practice in talking in English, but... Uh, Here's me not doing a very good job. So uh, let's get back to what you're watching. So you're watching a game of Rush on the car camp map. And uh, I will be doing a few stupid things like switching targets here. Although I think the guy that got me was a third guy. Or maybe not, maybe it was the guy that I started shooting at. In any case, it was stupid. Uh, I switched and you probably know that by seeing the crappy resolution all the time because I really like to run and gun and uh, you know having the extra 20 milliseconds really helps sadly with all the fixes that DICE is promising and all the DLC that I'm excited for even the close quarters maps it looks all exciting um, I'm kind of sad that they don't acknowledge that there is, uh, you know, a response lag for the controls on uh, Battlefield 3. They, on Twitter, uh, kind of blame the TVs, which, of course, confuses the kids. And while the TV, of course, adds or can add a substantial lag, it doesn't mean that <laughs> when I run Bad Company 2, the, the TV lag suddenly is half. Anyway, uh, so I like to run and gun, it's just the way I enjoy things. And I should probably you know, be more careful in taking cover. You saw me get knifed by that guy and killed by that guy. Most of the times I die is by that guy. Uh, I don't know how much he does, you know, help the team defusing or covering the objective, but he definitely knows how to flank and piss me off with a knife. Although, you know, it's not as bad as in Bad Company. Uh, in here, the, the knives don't really mean all that much. So, you don't see me... Like, There's a couple of, of batches that I still don't have. One of them is... I have four people in a map. I still just... It feels so wrong to me when when I could, you know, help my team to take out the guys immediately rather than running towards them and risk being taken out by knifing them. So I, I really struggle to get that. I also struggle to get the MCOM defender because you really have to wait for the guy to run to the objective and then arm it. And it really feels wrong. When I see a threat, I want to get rid of it. So there's that one. I also don't have the... the, the uh, what's it called? The... Uh, unplaced weapon ribbon. Because, you know, uh, getting kills with the AA gun means sitting back and uh, the rocket launchers are pretty hard to use on a console, I found. Mm, they're good on PC when you got you know, high resolution, but the sights, especially in this crappy ass resolution of 576B, is just not enough to, to actually aim in long distances, and for short distances you can only really get uh, vehicles that are already almost dead. And getting multiple kills like that is just, you really have to focus on the achievement alone. And I never, I never jeopardize 
the main mission and that's winning the match you can't not win the match this is why I like the, uh, the F2000 um, the thing is I still I still burst fire even though I probably shouldn't that's that's because I have so many hours in bad company that it just feels uh, feels right that's why I will probably force myself to um, play the co-op a little more to finally unlock the G3 which I don't have because um, it's kind of nice to have weapons that deal more damage and have considerable recoil uh, that you can overcome by doing the first fire. I'm totally used to that from that company and yeah. And I don't know if I spoke about the FT-1000 all that much. Um, they are supposedly in the huge patch. They are going to be improving the weapon, even you know, buffing it um, in terms of the spread that it has, which is a little ridiculous because the gun is already. This <laughs> was quite unlucky for me to get blown up by the car that. Uh, my guys have backed into um, but you know the F2000 already is a, an excellent weapon I see it used all the time the uh, the FAMAS of course is used a, a lot more often but I find the, the really long reload time when you go full magazine I mean empty the whole magazine is quite a bummer and uh, the F2000 kind of helps you there. Um, I mean, helps you there. I mean, the F2000 has an edge there because you quickly go to cover and can be back uh, much faster. With the FAMAS, you're vulnerable for so long. And my style is, you know, run and gun. So I don't, I don't really peek at a corner all that much, except for uh, uh, Bazaar and Metro, which of course is all about <laughs> aiming down sights fast, I mean sooner than, than your enemy. And again, you see me, ha have I even died by somebody else than, than this guy? <laughs> it's funny, I sometimes, like when I played the other day against Patris, the only person that I killed pretty much was Patris. <laughs> Because I tend to stick around the objectives, and so does he, and uh, it's just funny how that works out. Alright, so that was that. Uh, another thing, because I have so much time, um, is um, the Usas. Everybody talks about how, he, how they hate the Usas. And uh, rather than raging, I actually found myself just going with it and, and <laughs> joined the dark side. And it works. I don't rage anymore. If I get killed on Metro with an Usas, which is, mm, let me think, uh, pretty much every time, I just equip it. If, if we're at the, at the uh, you know, at the few choke points, if you, if you don't use Usas with frag rounds, you are cheating on your team because getting through that choke point means you, you need it. The, the advantage of that weapon is that it essentially shoots uh, around corners. Um, you know, the uh, 320 or uh, RPGs do the same thing. But this does it, you know, in such a high rate, and it's accompanied by the uh, suppression effect, and it just it creates this madness, madness, that it really is effective. And I'm not going to avoid a weapon that is effective. They put it in the game, so fuck it, I'm going to use it. Uh, I I see people who actually run it everywhere even on open maps like this one but I don't 
have it. I mean, I'm, I, I don't hold it against them because they are just using an inappropriate kit. That's what they're doing. Because, uh, you know, you can't... It, it has such a ridiculous spread that even though, uh, you know, it's not completely useless as, for example, buckshot on longer distance, it's still pretty useless. I mean, if you're going against anything, maybe, you know, assault rifles, um, I got stuck because <laughs> everything was blown out except for that sheet of glass. <laughs> so yeah, Usas, don't hate it, just use it if you can. Usually it means that uh, when when we're getting, when I, when, when I uh, you know, go for it is when we get killed by it, by the opposing team, and that's when we don't really have that many experienced players, so I usually end up being, unless I'm, uh, unless I convince my pals, uh, I'm the only one running it, and one Usas against five Usas means that I can't really do that much. But I don't hate it. I actually have something of a... <laughs> of a montage with Usas and Fregrounds. You guys are gonna love it, I'm sure. I'm gonna get so many likes. Ooh, I can't wait for that. But uh, I, I had this idea for it that I think it's worth doing the hell. How, how does he just in the middle of the road go and get me with a knife? Bastard, bastard. Anyway, we're not not doing so bad, and I even get revived, so, you know, with my throat cut, uh, bleeding all over my torso, I got a shock in the chest, and uh, here I am again. Completely screwed up. I thought he was going through, and he was just waiting for me. Typical noob mistake on my part. The Cage 2002 also pretty pretty nice weapon. I haven't picked it up for for long but uh, it is nifty. The other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, was flying. You saw a few videos I put up that uh, we tried because uh, I usually just, just uh, take a roll of a gunner uh, which is something I enjoy immensely, but I did try to fly for a bit, and yeah, I don't have an RPG, so I gave him a bit of a medicate. Uh, in any case, I started flying, I mean piloting, and that includes jets, so I finally, after so long of avoiding them, finally unlocked both the uh, heat seekers, the uh, flares and I think I got stealth now on a jet which uh, is amazing um, all I need now is the radar and I will actually feel like uh, I have a minor chance against people that specialize in jets because it's still you know when doing dogfights I have no chance Essentially, but yeah, jets can be extremely useful, especially on rush uh, to take down the uh, the uh, the tanks, because you really only have one jet to worry about, and sometimes you get help from your teammates uh, running um, sting. I mean, stingrays or uh, eaglas. So uh, even if you're not that good at dogfights have a chance of taking him out and then it's just really easy like even I can can do a uh, you know a strafing run from the back on a tank with just the with just the uh, main uh, machine gun and um, take it out and it's 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 very rewarding of course I've I've watched uh, some of the movies that uh, Cody uh, 61 has put up if you don't if you haven't seen it go watch it it's just it's it's so great when you really control the sky and the last thing I'm gonna talk about is the DLC that's coming up um, you're 
all probably aware of it and even probably seen uh, bits of it. Again, it's amazing how every time there are sneak peeks, uh, you know, people secretly recording uh, uh, a session on some gaming trade show or the like, they always suck in the game so badly. Anyway, so there's uh, three map packs coming up, and to be honest, I'm not really fed up with any of the maps that, that we play. What I'm fed up is people quitting. Um, I think Rush is very enjoyable on any of the maps. Uh, I heard that, you know, uh, Tehran Highway is not very popular, and people tend to leave on that one most, and um, I do have that experience. But I like it myself. Uh, it's just that when when you're defending on rush, people tend to leave. Uh, if if you're actually doing a good job defending it, so then you have to switch and go against your mates, and uh, then somebody uh, <laughs> somebody joins in, and it's just it's it's it takes long, and it's not really worth the win. Um, probably just gonna be leaving games like that, which is a bummer. I mean, like they do such a great job on the stats, and then they count in um, the cases where the game freezes, you get kicked out, and the like. But whatever. So the map packs. Um, I'm actually like I wasn't a friend. This was this was so bad. Like I did not see that guy, and I'm running in the middle of the room. I'm still doing these horrible, horrible things. In any case, the DLC. I wasn't a big fan of the infantry-only maps, Bazaar and uh, and Metro. But uh, you know, they they grown on me and uh, if I'm playing with my mates it's usually enjoyable I mean it's a completely different style of game you're just slowly pushing forward there's no way to flank really uh, for uh, conquest this was interesting like you, you see how far I'm shooting and yet the the, uh, the mines exploded that was interesting um, so yeah, uh, the uh, close quarters maps, I think I'm gonna enjoy them because I sort of am one of the few guys that liked Medal of Honor, um, especially the, oh I don't remember the game mode, but essentially Rush, that's mixed up with Conquest even. Um, so that was that was pretty good, uh, and uh, I hope I hope the, the 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 largest map in the battlefield history will actually be fun to play. Um, I don't mind. This is why you know this this was the reason why I prefer the uh, the sucky resolution and having the 20 milliseconds. I mean he was running. But still, I'm sitting here in the open, and I love it. <laughs> you know, it's not very realistic. But this is this is what uh, my enemy territory uh, background makes me. I want to be faster shooting the guy than he does shoot me, rather than being good with cover, which is not realistic. But I enjoy it. So yeah, the, the DLC is probably going to be um, uh, fun. I know many people are bitching about the infantry stuff, but you know, just don't buy the freaking DLC and wait for the wait for the next one. Um, you have you have the choice, just like people don't don't like conquest on consoles because there's not much actions you. You score like five, seven kills per map. Um, I like it from time to time. 
Um, but I prefer Rush, even when there's people like this <laughs> that just camps in remote place with no chance to defuse the MCOM whatsoever. This last part um, is actually us just getting obliterated. We didn't do much of a job of getting close, so I might just uh, edit it out. And um, I'm probably going to post a few games that I think are nifty, that are balanced and uh, exciting, but um, too long to spend uh, much time editing it down and uh, finding topics to talk about that might interest you, so I'm just going to post them raw. I, uh, I know that that's not, not a way to gain new subscribers, uh, which is fine. I sort of <laughs> dropped the ball there long time ago so I'm happy that you guys are still around if you're watching it and uh, see you on the battlefield hopefully